Good morning, FS2 A and B. I hope you had a lovely spring break. Today, we're going to start a new math session. And it's about telling the time. Do you know what this is? It's a clock. And because we've all grown up now, I'm going to teach you how to tell the time. Okay, now, this is a clock. A clock is shaped like a circle and you'll find numbers written on it, starting number 1, finishing by number 12. Okay? And you will find two pointers, two arrows, a long one, which is the blue one, and a short one, which is the red one. Now we're going to learn how to tell the time. The first thing I want you to look at is the short arrow, the red one. The red one, what is it pointing at? It's pointing at number one. Then it's one o'clock. Let's have a look at this clock. The long pointer, which is the blue one, is on number 12. It's not going to move, it's going to stay on number 12. Because now we're going to tell the time just by looking at the red pointer, the red arrow. Okay, where's the red arrow now? It's pointing at number two. So it's two o'clock. Let's have a look at this one. The blue pointer is still pointing at number 12. That means that it's still on the same number. Let's look at the other pointer, which is the red one. It's pointing at number three. Then it's three o'clock. Let's look at this clock now. What time is it? The minutes pointer, which is the blue one, is still on number 12. Now let's look at the red one. The red one is pointing at number four. So it's four o'clock. Let's look at this one. Where is the red pointer? Very good. It's pointing at number five. You're starting to pick it up. Very good. Then it's five o'clock. The blue one has not changed. It's the same. The one that tells the minutes is the blue one. We're just focusing now on the red one. It's five o'clock. Let's have a look at this one. It's your turn. What time is it? Very good. It's six o'clock. Good job. Now you're starting to tell the time yourself. Very good. Here we go. What time is it here? Seven o'clock because the red pointer is pointing at number seven and the blue pointer or arrow is still pointing at the number 12. Therefore, it's seven o'clock. Who can tell me what time it is now then? Very good, I can hear you all. It's eight o'clock. And what time is it here? Very good. Nine o'clock. The red pointer or arrow is pointing at the number nine. And the blue one is still on the number 12. Then it's nine o'clock. Let's have a look at this clock. What time is it now? Ten o'clock. Super. Great job. Now... It's 11 o'clock. That's right. Very good. The grey red pointer is pointing at the number 11. The blue pointer, which belongs to the minutes, is pointing at the number 12. Then it's 11 o'clock. Oh, let's see this tricky one. Now both the long pointer, the blue one, that tells us the minutes, and the red pointer or arrow, 
the short one that tells us the hours are both pointing at the number 12. Then what time is it? Very good, it's 12 o'clock. Great job. Now you're able to tell me what time it is. And here's your homework. Here I want you to tell the time. Underneath each clock, you look at the long pointer and the small one. And you see which number the small pointer is pointing at. For instance, the first one, the long pointer is pointing at number 12. And the small one is pointing at number 2. Then what time is it? It's 2 o'clock. Very good. And this is your second sheet of homework. You need to draw the long pointer and the short pointer. The long pointer will be pointing at number 12. The small pointer will be pointing at the number that's written underneath the clock. Let's try the first one. OK. Underneath the first clock, it's written five o'clock. So the long pointer is going to point to the number 12 and the small one will be pointing to the number five. So it's five o'clock. Thank you for listening. See you next math session. Bye.